Okay, I'm sitting here with Ivana. She's going to help us with this little portrait uh, situation. And we have a really dark uh, background kind of shadowed out And so I'm going to explain how you can get a proper exposure in that kind of setting. Make that a really good setting. You don't have high so you don't really have to worry about shadows or anything like that. But I do have a flash on, and I'm going to show you how to use that flash to actually get a proper exposure. I'm going to be about five to six feet away from that. And when you use uh, digital photography, you have the advantage of looking at the screen after you take your shot to do trial and error. And so for beginners, that's what I suggest is you take a shot, look at the settings that you have, and then you go from there and you figure out what you need to adjust to make the picture uh, look properly exposed. And also you're going to pay attention to composition. Composition is very crucial to make a, a very good picture. And I have my uh, settings currently at uh, shutter speed 125 with uh, the aperture of 5.6. So the meter on my screen says that it's right at zero, which is the proper exposure. But sometimes you can play with that and bring it over or under, depending on your situation. So we're going to take the first shot with these settings and see what we get. So here we go. And let me zoom in. And here we are. So I'm going to set my aperture right where I said I was going to set it with full uh, flash and see what we get for a shot. So here we are. Okay, so the first shot that I have here, she's a little bit bright, and the reason why that is, is because of the flash. So I'm going to turn it down halfway, and I'm also going to bring the aperture to 6.3. So here's our trial and error, and so let's see what we look like right here. Okay, on this second shot, it's looking a little bit better. But we can go up on the aperture just a little bit more and bring it to 7.1. You could also bring up the shutter speed. Uh, but bringing the aperture up brings a better depth of field, makes everything more in focus, rather than using the shutter speed. We don't need a fast shutter speed because we're not shooting something that's fast motion. Shutter speeds are only used for something with fast motion, um, you know, for a fast shutter speed so you can freeze and lock it. Or if she had a child with her running around the circles or something, I would want to take a picture with a fast shutter speed because we'd get motion blur at a slower shutter speed. So here we go. We're at shutter speed 125. We get 7.1 for the aperture, and we have half uh, power for the flash. Let's see what we get for a shot now. Now the picture is completely properly exposed. It's, it, it's even everywhere, and it looks very, very good. And so there we are with that uh, aspect as far as uh, getting a proper exposure. Now we know what our proper exposure is. So now when we take shots, if we were to take a bunch of shots, we would know where to leave the camera and it'd be easier on you uh, to go from there.